although it may not look like one, but this is actually a computer case, or should I say a frame. It's a project by a friend of mine that I want to showcase today to my YouTube audience, that being you, and build a computer in it, or should I say on it. So yeah, let's go. The main ingredient of this case is this frame, which has been meticulously designed with these railings in mind. Each of these railings has an equal width and thickness across the whole frame in order for this uni clamp to be, well, clampable on it. Is that even a word? It is now. Uh, anyway, this clamp also comes with a special adapter that can be mounted on at a different angles, meaning that whatever you mount on this adapter, such as the GPU, as you will shortly see, it can be mounted pretty much anywhere on this frame and oriented, well, in any way, which gives you infinite amount of possibilities. So what we'll do first is, yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> so let's build a PC and I'll show you how it all fits together. The first thing we'll do is we'll mount the motherboard onto the frame. I already went ahead and mounted the CPU, which is Intel Core i5-13600K and Samsung 980 Pro SSD. So let's mount it on the frame and we'll go from there. With our motherboard in place, we'll now uh, make use of our first two uni clamps, and that is by mounting the two feet. As you can see, the feet are slightly off center, uh, just because the GPUs are usually much heavier than the, um, well, the rest of the components really. So we'll mount them uh, the long side facing towards the motherboard as opposed to the other side. This is the first look at the frame with the feet. Uh, you might have noticed that it's of a different color than the feet are, and that's on purpose because we're testing different anodization techniques and colors. But don't worry though, the final product will be all of the same color. The first thing we will mount on this is the GPU. But before we do that, there's a little trick <laughs> we discovered when practicing for this video, and that is that we need to plug this uh, cable for the AIO on the bottom of the motherboard, and the connector is just behind the GPU, so we'll connect this first, and then we'll put the GPU on it. The GPU is mounted, uh, we chose an RTX 3060 by ASUS, uh, I'll leave the link down in the description below. And next what we'll do is we'll put the power supply on. As you may have noticed, I've mounted the uni clamp at a 90 degree angle according to where it will be mounted on the rail here. But you can see on this uh, bracket for the power supply, there's multiple holes, so it enables me to mount it pretty much wherever and however I want. Also, one thing we did before shooting this video is we attached this Corsair Commander, I think it's called, on the bottom of the PSU because it's literally nowhere else that it fits or looks good, so let's mount this onto the bracket. All the main components are now assembled and now we will put the most annoying part on and you'll see why. This is the AIO by Corsair, I don't know what the model is, I'll leave the link in the description down below. But I also kind of forgot that I ran out of my Noctua thermal paste, luckily I did have some uh, EK right, uh, lying around, so we will apply this and mount the AIO. As you can see, the AIO already has applied a uh, special uh, bracket with the uni clamp, which also allows us to mount it anywhere on the AIO and the uni clamp, well, anywhere on the frame. I've decided I'll put it on top for the showcase, but I could put it in the front or in the back just the same.
The AIO is now mounted, however, it won't work in the current state because we're also missing another part and that is the cover that comes with it that has some RGB stuff on it. And yeah, let's first connect that one and then we'll try to, well, make some sense of all the cables that we need to not hide because this is a frame and not a case, but organize in a nice manner. The AIO is now all complete on the front side, but not yet on the back side. So the next thing we'll do, we'll also plug in all these cables to the GPU and to the motherboard. However, I will do that off camera because I don't want to waste your time watching me plugging in the cables. So I'll see you in a sec. Hi, enjoying the video? Amazing. I do have a little favor to ask though. If you like this case, please take a moment and click the link in the description of this video. It will take you to a short questionnaire, which I'd appreciate if you fill out. This will help us immensely with future plans around this project. Oh, and if you like these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing. Here's some B-roll as a thank you. The PC is now fully assembled, but we're missing one crucial part before we can turn it on. And that is, well, the on button or the power button. So let's mount the power button first. And then I'll also bring a monitor, which will plug into the GPU and try whether it works. We did our best with the cable management, as you can see. I'm pretty satisfied, although you can get a better job done uh, with custom cables, which we do not have. Uh, however, we're convinced that one, once the first people get it in their hands, they're gonna go wild with them and we can't wait to see that. Uh, now let's plug in the monitor, turn it on and see where we are. The company is now all here and assembled. So let's see if it turns on. Let's see if it turns on. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm a bit embarrassed now. Now it turned on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we have a fully functioning PC. Keep in mind that this is not the final build. Uh, we're still waiting for a couple of components that will make this even wilder, crazier and more creative. So make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.